Are you wondering what a career as a UX designer in Europe looks like? Today's video is exactly about this topic. I'm Fernanda, mm -hmm. co-founder at Imagine Foundation, and I have here with me Yashvir. Mm -hmm. He's a tech coach in our program at Imagine. Mm -hmm. 10 years of experience working with digital products, more than five years of experience as a UX designer, and he'll tell us everything you want to know about this topic. Thank you very much for joining us, Yashvir. Over to you. Thank you, Nanda. It's always a great opportunity to be able to share the experience with people who want to get into your field. So I want to thank Imagine for this. And without further ado, let's get into what we are talking about today. So I will try to basically answer this question around what is UX, what it is not what is the life of a UX designer looks like. So I will take you to my life and I'll tell you, uh, you know, different aspects of it. And since a lot of people will be deciding if this is right or wrong for them, I'll be speaking about the salary ranges, the demand globally of UX designer. I'll also tell you why it's gonna always increase, give you reasons why. And eventually, if you're in any field, how do you get into UX, which fields are good or which fields are have a more chances so in the end if you came to this video with a question is ux design good for you or not you'll be able to get better idea about it and perhaps can answer but before we start what ux design is not about like today's session is not about today's session is not about learning ux we're just talking about it from an overview field not getting deep on that topic but we would love to have your comments about if you want to do that so we can create more videos Again, thanks Nanda for the warm intro. I'm working in this industry from 2009. I actually started as a graphic designer, went to web design. So upskilling is something I feel is very important for everybody. And hence I am motivated to help young people upskill. Currently working as a product designer, which is again, a part of a career life cycle of a UX designer. So let's start with what is UX? Well, UX is user experience design, that's it. We are done. You can close the video. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> There's a lot more about it. But the thing is, user experience is anything and everything a person or a customer, you know, experiences while using a product or service. So you use Amazon or do you, you're watching this video over YouTube or on your mobile or you're booking some holiday or you have booked some holiday. Everything was part of a user experience that you were having, that you were inside. Of. So is it like a uh, UX designer is going to be the one. So if you are ordering something from Amazon and it comes very quickly in a day, is that the UX designer who shipped you the product and came to your door? No, <laughs> but understanding that that's a need of a user to get delivery fast, as an example, is one of the process. You would say that is a pretty simple or understandable thing nowadays. No, it wasn't a few years before, and I'm going to give you reasons why. But what is not UX? And people often think it is creating visually nice graphics or website. That's not UX. We do create appealing and nice graphics on the website, but that's only one visual part of it. We do it for reasons. I'm going to tell you why. Developing website and application, we are not the competitors of a developer or a, a programmer. So anybody who is thinking that they don't want to go into development, they have a little bit of interest into tech, is good, your experience will count, but you will not be a competitor to a web developer, you will be helping them instead. And third is a common assumption that UX is a checklist. So whenever you're launching something, oh, just check if the UX is good or not and, lo and launch it, because you know we are the users, we can check the website or mobile application ourselves and just uh, do a, like a final test. No, it doesn't work like that as well. But what what is it all buzz around UX? Why is it important? Well, do you know that 90% of our users are likely to leave a site because it has a bad UX? And that's why investing in user experience for companies give them so much of returns. They increases their KPI, they increases their customer experience. And applications who have uh, mobile applications who have more or better uh, optimized UX are five times more likely to be, uh, you know, used by their users. And there are many studies around it. So I don't have to throw a lot of knowledge on it today. Uh, now, who is a UX designer? We just spoke about what is UX. 
what it is not. But what does a UX designer really do? I don't code, like I said. I will not be always being creative and creating a lot of graphics or art. That's not what I do. Uh, there's a lot of confusions in the world around what UX designers are doing and not. And it's fair enough to have that confusion. You know why? Because companies, especially tech companies, IT jobs, they have different variants of you know scale and what they're offering. And since our job is so much connected to the users, we have to adapt things accordingly. Uh, we are not just testing colors <laughs> or just different things and just saying what works or what not. Yes, that's an important part of it, but there are a lot more and we're going to come to the next slide in, uh, in that. Eventually, I feel I try to understand my user, try to get in their shoes a lot possible using data, using a lot of exercises we do as UX designers. Uh, but eventually, there's a lot of frustration, as you can see in the last picture. <laughs> Okay, so what is a UX design process? So at first, it starts with empathizing the user, knowing the user. Uh, you would have heard of or you will come across the concepts of creating personas. It also exists in marketing, customer journey maps, empathy mapping. These all are the ways to just find out that what am I building? Who am I building it for? Because if you don't know who are you building it for, how would you do it? Just imagine that if you have to give somebody a gift, don't you first ask yourself who the person is and then what do they like and dislike? And then you select a gift. It's more like that. Then second is uh, finding goals and the, uh, the needs of the user. So you must be wondering that, is it like, okay, just let's throw out a lot of surveys, ask people what they want, just build it and done. So is it a UX designer doing that? No. You know why? Because like Henry Ford said, if he would have asked users or customers, what do they want? They would have said faster horses, but no, he built a car. Why? <laughs> because he understood what are the tasks that the user are trying to accomplish. They want to go to their uh, home faster from their office, or they want to reach the office faster. So they want to go from point A to point B quickly. That's the job a user is trying to uh, accomplish. And he created a machine or a product which will help in that. Then when we find it out, we develop solutions, uh, design them, uh, coordinate with developers, and then we launch only to test our research. We're not launching and saying we're done with the UX, it's going to be all fine. No, we are launching and saying, hey, we thought about something about the users, we created it, now let's find out. And we have to measure the results and improve. So it's always a process which goes back and forth. It's not like a check mark on the launch plan of your website or a landing page. You have to go through it again and again and improve your understanding about your customers and what they want to do with the, with the given website or application that you are building. Uh, what are the salaries and demands for doing this amount of work <laughs> worldwide? <laughs> well, the place I come from, India, the median salary is this, you can see on the screen in the Indian rupees and everything is mentioned in their local currency. For UK, it's in British pound. For Germany, it's in Euro. For China, it's in Yen. But this would give you an idea about how the scene of UX and how much designers that they get paid. Well, in Europe, the prices are raising, so you can accept more salaries. Also in India, uh, if you will look at designers from the perspective I'm trying to explain, they also earn way more. But this should give you a scale and idea. Uh, eventually, how to get into UX, what field you should be in, what are you in, and you can get into UX. Can you get into UX as a developer? Can you get into UX as a graphic designer, as a marketer? Yes, everything is possible, but there are related and unrelated experiences. But the fun fact is half of them, or half of the people who come, come from unrelated experiences, and it helps a lot. Let me give you an example. If you're building a mobile application for a healthcare and you know you worked in hospital maybe even as a nurse or maybe as a person on the reception you know a lot about people walking inside the hospital and what are their needs you know a little bit about that and you can use that in designing the application and you can be a good ux designer i started my journey as a graphic designer then web designer as you can see some of the related experience but people from sales people from tech support from analytical background 
what most important uh, which helped me and a lot of people is psychology which helps basically understanding why people do what they do but people can come from anywhere. lastly i want to end this video with a question for you guys to let me know what do you want to know in career in ux what did i not answer what did i not clarify correctly just throw in the comments and let me know what do you feel and please give me some feedback so i can improve my videos like i said the process of a UX designer is, and we can come up to you with more such videos on career in UX. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ashvir. It was very, very informative. I hope it can inspire you who are thinking of a career in UX. As Yashvir said, if you have any further questions on this topic, please let us know. We would be very happy to answer to all your questions in the next video. Thank you very much.